hello friends welcome to my youtube channel rf design basics in this video i will solve a problem based on laplace transform for given circuit so in this case we have the input voltage source as a unit step function and there are few resistors capacitor and inductors so first of all we will see how to convert these components from time domain to frequency domain for ut as we know that laplace transform of ut is 1 by s so we'll convert this way resistors and all remain same so resistors will be 1 then 5 ohm will be also 5 1 by 3 faraday capacitor so this will be converted using a formula 1 by s c so 1 by s into 1 by 3 it is 3 by s then inductor 100 inductor this will be converted using s into l so s into 1 which is equal to s so the converted values are over here now we can apply the general kcl kvl for solving this problem so we have 1 by s source and the current is flowing in this direction so i can just simply calculate the current through 1 ohm and then it will be divided in two parts so let's cal calculate the overall impedance so impedance will be 3 by s is parallel to 5 plus s and then 1 is in series so this is the equivalent impedance 1 plus 3 by s into 5 plus s so i'll be writing s in this way so that it will not get mixed with 5 and then 3 by s plus 5 plus s we do the further calculation what we will get is 1 plus s square plus 5s plus 3 that is in the bottom then s will be cancelled 3 into 5 is 15 plus 3s if we add that it will become s square plus 5s and 3s 8s plus 3 plus 15 18 divided by s square plus 5 s plus 3 so this is our z equivalent now we will calculate what is the value of uh, current passing through one of the system and let's say that is i so i equal to current passing through this will be equal to voltage divided by z equivalent so voltage is 1 by s divided by z equivalent s square plus 8s plus 18 divided by s square plus 5s plus 3 so it is s square plus 5s plus 3 divided by s into s square plus 8s plus 18 this current will divide in two parts over here one will go in 3 by s another will go in 5 plus s so the part which is going in 5 plus s let's assume that as i1 will be equal to the current i which gets divided in 3 by s and 5 plus s and 3 by s so 3 by s divided by 3 by s plus 5 plus s which is equal to i so i current is over here we have s square plus 5 s plus 3 divided by s into s square plus 8 s plus 18 multiplied by 
3 by s so 3 by s into s divided by 3 plus 5s plus s square so s square plus 5s plus 3 so basically this and this will cancel out s and s will cancel out so i1 equal to 3 by s into s square plus 8s plus 18 and this current is flowing through this branch which is i1 so if i multiply with s i will get the voltage across the inductor so voltage across the inductor v0 in frequency domain will be equal to 3 by s into s square plus 8s plus 18 multiplied by s so s will cancel and this is our answer in frequency domain which need to be converted in time domain so that we can write the answer so we have to do inverse laplace transform of this function so we will start with making the perfect uh, square so for that we have to do the perfect square 3 by s square plus 8s so this can be made as perfect square if i take 4 over here 4 square so i have to add plus 2 to reach uh, get 18 s square plus 8s plus 4 square i did this because this is 2 into s into 4 so 4 square i have done here now this can be further written as 3 3 is in the common then s square so s plus 4 whole square plus 2 is root 2 square so this root 2 can be multiplied over here and also divide so now our constant term is 3 by root 2 now i'll do the inverse transform of this function so inverse transform of v0 s what we get is 3 by root 2 is in common then this is somehow related to s square plus omega square and omega is here so it is like sine function so we can put this in the sine form and also there is a shifting because of s plus 4 so there is a shifting wherever we have s plus a so e to the power minus 4t will be in the multiplication and then we have sine function sine omega omega is root 2 here so root 2 t u t this is the voltage so this is how we can calculate the v naught t for this circuit hope you understood and you can do the problems related to this thank you